in the podcast you did mention, and I, I really liked it, the brief, the mission, and the debrief. And I wanted to really hone in on that debrief. Um, what a lot of us will be doing and are doing kind of during this time is really planning and prioritization of next steps of, you know, what, what will set you and your teams up for a better tomorrow? What will set you up for a better year next year? Um, what are the effects of what's happened today or, you know, throughout the past couple of months? What effect will that have on, you know, 2021? Um, so just in a few short sentences, you know, if you want to share with us how you and your teams are kind of um, strategizing or putting together a plan to, to tackle that. Sure. Sure. Well, not, and I'll be, I'll try to be very brief, which is hard for me to do. I know there's a guy named Brian Witt that's out there when I was a city administrator down in uh, Mukilteo. Oh no, short is not my forte, but I will give it a good college try. Um, so as far as this iterative piece goes, um, I would say at the end of each day, I get an end of day report. I forgot to add that in there from each one of the division uh, managers. So there's four of them. I get four uh, recaps for each day. I kind of see what's going on. In the beginning when I wasn't exactly sure how effective our team was, SmartGov is awesome that it has in this cloud-based tool the ability to go in there and look and see who is doing what when. So, I mean, and sometimes I would go in there initially and take a look at it and see, okay, well, why didn't they get something done? It was more of a, okay, how can I get a better understanding? It wasn't like I was doing forensics of ensuring somebody wasn't getting their job done. It was just looking to see what was being done. What was the impediment? So, as I would see those things, we would sit down and meet uh, at the end of the day virtually with the managers, talk about lessons learned, what we could do. We would incorporate that into the next morning's brief. And then as we were going through that, after about the first week, we kind of got it. So then we relaxed that daily to basically every or once a week. Once a week now, since we've been at it for six weeks, has now turned into once every other week, um, which is perfectly fine. I think, again, being iterative about the process is extremely important. Um, once you get the results that you need, I, I'm not a micromanager. I don't think you need to sit there and keep your foot on the pedal or somebody's uh, – body part, you pick the body part, you know, whether it's the neck or somewhere else. I don't necessarily like doing that. Um, I trust what my folks are doing. I have the confidence that they're going to be able to go and get the thing done. And basically, at the end of the day, what's the impediment? What can I do to help make their day more efficient and to become more effective? And like I said, the tools that are provided by the dude have enabled us to go ahead and do that. Where we used to have spreadsheets on spreadsheets on spreadsheets telling us what to do. We use the cloud-based technology extract the data that we can, it's easy to get out of it, and then make it actionable. So hopefully that provides just a little insight to how we, uh, we've we done it here. And again, we're still learning. The, the governor here, uh, as he said, it's not flipping a light switch, it's turning a knob to get us to back to the new normal. Um, with the restart, um, we, we've worked very closely with our construction and development community. I've got a series of, of emails that I used to send out, probably about 15 of them, of, hey, Here's what the governor has said. Here's what our attorneys have said. Here's where I think we can meet in the middle, to make sure this all works. And then we go out and, and carry out the plan of that, um, really just meeting their needs. And then again, on the internal side, making sure people feel safe. If they need to go get tested, go get tested. If you need more equipment, we'll get that. If you have your home office set up, what do you need? Do you need to take the screens from home? How do we need to go ahead and do that? And all of that's been worked out. 